All right, lovies. So here is our next question for us to look at. And I can't even tell you, this is like the easiest question on the planet. I'm going to show you two ways that you can use your graphing calculator to just make this like, like you totally got this. Like it's crazy. Okay. So first it says that, let me move my little head out of the way. Um, it says the first term in arithmetic sequence is five. The fourth term in the sequence is negative four. So this is the first term here. And actually, I'm just going to show you one way to do it. Let's keep it simple. The second way, number we don't know what it is. The third number, we don't know what it is. But we know that the fourth number is negative 4. And we know that the tenth number is negative 22. Okay, get ready for your mind to be blown because this is crazy easy. All we're going to do is turn this into coordinates. That's it. This top, the, the place value, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, that's going to be x. The answer is going to be y, because remember, when we get to the domain, x is the input number. So in this case, like, what's the place value? And y is the output. So we're going to create a table. And this might be the, if you're going in order, this is the first time you're going to see me teach you how to do a table. So open up the graphing calculator and go ahead and hit this plus sign on the left. And we're going to hit plus sign table. And so what we're going to do is we're not going to put in numbers for the second and third, but we will put in the other numbers. So I've got 1, 5, negative 4. I'm sorry, 4, negative 4 because my 4 is my x and negative 4 is my y, and 10 and negative 22. So we can see from this that our graph is kind of going in a downward direction, right? We can see that it's going down. So this is all we're going to do, okay? Instead of writing n, we're going to write x's. So let's put in choice a. f of x equals negative x. And you say, does that go through all the points? No. So it's not letter A. Then we're going to put in f of x. You can still use f of x. It's totally fine. I'm going to click this black circle so we don't get confused. Now we're on choice B. And now we're going to put in, instead of n, we're writing x. x plus 4. Well, that doesn't go through all the points, so it's not the second one. So now I'm going to turn that one off and type in the third answer choice negative 3x plus 8. <gasps> Look at that! Do you see how it goes through all of my green dots? Like it goes through all my green dots. And you know what? I just realized I forgot to show you the coolest thing ever. If you long press the circle on the table and click this word lines, turning the switch on, it creates a line. So watch what happens. When I do this first one, the green and the black line, they don't overlap. When I click the second one, the red and the green line, they intersect, but they don't overlap. When I click choice C, the blue line and the green line are the same, so it's the correct answer, like it's letter C. Let's type in the last one just to show you. I'm going to do 1 divided by 2 to get 1 half, then use my arrow key, use parentheses, x instead of the n, plus 5, close the parentheses, plus 2. And again, it's not the same line. We want it to match the original green line, and it intersects, but it doesn't match perfect. The only one that matches perfect is choice C. We didn't even need to use the formulas. All we did is we created a mini table at, from the test questions. We put the mini table into Desmos, and we tested the answer choices. And you know what? You're allowed to do that. It's called math reasoning. Who knew? Great job, guys. Bye.